Okay, business applications often will use uh, calculus as well. So here's one such uh, example that you can use for business or industry related. You want to design a poster and the poster's got to contain 50 square inches of printing material. And you want a four inch margin at the top and bottom and a two inch margin on each of the, uh, on each side. And it's asking what overall dimensions will minimize the amount of paper used. If we minimize the paper, that means that we can print it off at a lower uh, cost because we're not using as much paper here. So that's, uh, it's important to know uh, what a minimizing function will do as far as saving money. So uh, let's draw a picture for this. Okay, we have a, a poster and I'm going to put some material inside right here. So here's the, the printing material is going to be kind of the shaded area on the inside there. Okay, so it has four inch margin at the top and the bottom, which means that this is going to be four going up and down, and we have a four going up and down right here. We have a two inch margin on each side, so this will be a two here, and we have a two over here as well. So that's basically what it's uh, telling us to do. So now we have that. Okay, so now, and then the inside here, this part has to be 50 uh, square inches. Okay, so that, that's the space that's filled there with the actual printing material. And then there's our margins that are put in there. Okay, so it says what overall dimensions will minimize the amount of paper used? So we have to come up with a, an equation first. And as, as far as paper is concerned, we're talking about uh, how long each of these sides is going to have to be. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up some variables on each side. I'm going to be doing uh, an, an X and a Y. So I'm going to do an X going across the top here. I'm going to do a Y going up and down like that. Okay, so when I set up the, the uh, equation for it, I'm going to come up with an area formula on this. So if I, if I do that, going across the entire top, because I made this X and Y, let's do the dimensions across the outside because they eventually want us to find the overall uh, amount of paper, overall uh, area that's here. So we're going to do X plus 4. We have x right here, we have a 2 and a 2, so x plus 4 goes across the top. Going up and down, we have a y, a 4 and a 4, and a y plus 8. So we're going to do x plus 4, and then y uh, plus 8. Okay, so that's our area formula. However, we don't want this because you don't want to use two different variables. We have to find something else to substitute in there. Now we are given that the dimension on the inside is 50 square inches, so we can say that x plus y is equal to 50. So then I can solve this for your x or y, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll solve for y, and y is equal to 50 divided by x. I can put that directly into this one. So then my area is equal to x plus 4 times 50 over x plus 8. And now by doing that, I've eliminated one of my variables. So now I have all one variable there. You can leave it in this form if you want to, or if you'd like to multiply it out to avoid using the product rule, you can do that. So I'm going to multiply this out, actually. So when I do a FOIL on this one, x times 50 over x, I'm just going to get 50. x times 8 is 8x. I multiply this one, I'm going to get 200 over x, but I'm going to write that as 200x to the negative 1 to get, make it into a power to make it easier when I do the derivative. And 4 times 8 is 32. Next, I'm ready to take the uh, derivative. Of course, let me first uh, simplify this here. So I have 15, 32, 82 plus 8x, 200, x to negative 1. Now let's do the derivative. Okay, so when I do the derivative, 82, derivative is 0. I get 8, and then this one here, I get minus 200x to the negative 2. This is the part that I want to take and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to put a zero in there, and then this is eight minus, I can write that as 200 over x squared. And then I need to move one of the terms over, so let me do that out on the side over here. 200 over x squared equals uh, eight when I move this one over. We're gonna do some cross multiplying here. Okay, so I get eight x squared is gonna equal 200. Wanna divide both sides by eight. 
So when you divide that uh, by 8, you're going to get 25. And then square root of both sides, you're going to get uh, 5 as your answer. So x has got to be uh, 5. Now because x is 5, I can put that into here and I can get the y value. So if I put 5 back into here, y is equal to 50 over 5, my y is equal to uh, 10. Is that the answer to the question? Well, let's read it and make sure that we're, we've answered what they're asking for. It says, what overall dimensions will minimize the amount of paper used? This is not our overall dimensions. We just solved for x and y. We've only basically found the dimensions of the inside printing material. We gotta find the dimensions for the whole outside. So remember, make sure you go back and read the question after you solve it to make sure you've actually answered what it is that they're asking for. So in this case, what I'll do is uh, put that back in. So the dimensions, if it asks for it here, what, if you put uh, five back into here, five plus four is nine. If you put 10 into uh, this dimension, that was a y plus eight that we had before. Then we get uh, 10 plus eight. So you get a nine by 18 is gonna be the overall dimensions of it. So again, be careful. You, Go back and read it to make sure you answered uh, the question. It'd be technically nine inches by 18 inches.